typing is an important skill. But before I spend a lot of time discussing the many benefits of touch typing, let me first define what touch typing is. It's true that in order to type, whether on a typewriter or on a computer keyboard, your fingertips must touch certain keys. Doing so is how you produce the desired words, or proper combination of words, numbers, and or symbols. Surprisingly, a lot of people believe that this simple act of touching specific keys is what touch typing is all about. Perhaps that's what you believe as well. If it is, well, I'm sorry to say you are mistaken. It's true that touch typing does involve touching, but to a greater degree, touch typing involves memory. You see, touch typing is the ability to type the correct letters in the correct order using the correct symbols, numbers, and or punctuation without the need to actually look at the keyboard in order to locate the desired keys. When you know how to touch type, you don't need to look back and forth between the keyboard and the screen. Your fingers will know where to go to find the correct letters, numbers, and symbols because you've trained them to recall the location of those keys on the keyboard from memory. Please note that if you resemble the character Schroeder from the comic strip Peanuts while typing, you are not touch typing. Schroeder is the young boy who is usually shown sitting hunched over his piano and using only his two index fingers to strike the different musical notes that correspond to whatever song he's playing, which is typically something by Beethoven. I know people who type like this, and you probably do too. Some of these people can two-finger type quickly and with a great degree of accuracy. Regardless of their speed or their accuracy though, these individuals rely heavily on their sight to locate the desired keys. Although glancing at the keyboard takes little more than a split second, using anything other than the touch typing method while typing can have a tremendous impact on your typing speed. That's because all those seemingly unimportant split second glances can add up to several minutes or more by the time you finish typing. Even if you have to type for just a little bit every day, those wasted minutes can result in the significant loss of time out of your work week. Just think of the amount of time you would waste if you had a job that required you to sit around all day and type reports, business letters, and other correspondence, and you couldn't touch type. Not being able to touch type can also adversely affect students who need to turn in type written homework assignments by a certain deadline. In fact, no matter your profession, lacking this one specific skill can translate into a significant waste of time every single day. This is true for every person who has not developed touch typing skills. Here's something else that further compounds the amount of time lost. During all the time you spend focusing on the keyboard while typing, you aren't able to look at your computer monitor or a piece of paper if you're actually typing on a typewriter to see what you've typed. If you don't look at your copy, you have no way of knowing the accuracy of what you've typed until you stop and look at what you've typed. If you made errors, which you undoubtedly have, you will need to go back and correct those errors. This may take just a few minutes, but again, those few minutes all get added into your pool of wasted time.